In today's episode, we got some filth. Oh, yeah. This is an assisted living community. And in this particular unit, it's been 16 years without cleaning. And it did take some heavy pre-vacuuming. I spared you that, but you could see all of the soil and spills and stains. Luckily, there's no odors or heavy odors in here. It's just pretty much traffic. It is a commercial style carpet, so it's pretty flat, which is going to make it nice to do the cleaning. I'm going to use my Swirly. This is a rotary floor machine with a solution tank and custom business logos on it. Compliments of NCAP store, always a link in the description for everything I use. I am bringing the Vac Master and the old Chrome wand. I've got a few options for pads and I got my solutions mixed up, or I'll be mixing it up, I should say. I've got some magic bullet in the spray bottle and I got some simple end cap. And this one's been boosted. I had just a little bit in the bottom of that jug. So I boosted it with my secret formula. I'll share that with you here further along in the video. There's the Vac Master. Look at that thing. Oh, eight gallon dual two stage motors. Oh, this thing sucks in the right direction. <laughs> All right, I chose to use that for post vacuuming simply because I want to get these carpets as dry as possible so that the elderly lady who lives here will be able to get right back onto it. Look at this, my goodness. Oh, yeah. So we're just going to get around the furniture today. But you can see there's plenty of traffic 16 years without a cleaning. Whew. Who knows? There's no telling what's in these carpets. Obviously, over the 16-year period, somebody has spot-cleaned areas, so there's probably a lot of buildup and residue. But this machine will kill it all. Here's my pads. I got my clutch plate or my pad driver, an Iron Man, a moon pad. That's a scrubbing pad. And I ended up not using the microfiber today. Didn't need to. So let's go ahead, move forward, and get the solution mixed up. That's my five-quart bucket. I ended up getting that. I don't have to use my rinse -roo. It fits right under a standard sink. What do we got here? Like I said, we got the simple end cap. I had just enough on the bottom of that for today's job, but I put an X on it because I put some Go Oxy. That's a peroxide stain booster cleaner. Basically hydrogen peroxide at 15%. There's the moon pad. Gonna scrub 16 years worth of soil right to the surface for extraction. Got it mixed up. Got five quarts in the tank. That's two and a half gallon tank. Five quarts would be about a gallon and a quarter. So we'll adjust here. And then I'll get my machine centered and drop it down and engage the clutch plate there. All right, now we can lower it and get ready to go. I don't know why I keep calling it a clutch plate. <laughs> Eh, I guess it is in a way. It's a driver, but I'm going to turn the shower feed on. And I've already got a little bit of these areas. I don't know what something fell off the counter. I'll pick that up. So don't think I'm ignoring that. I think it's a bag of seeds for planting. And keep in mind when I'm videoing, I'm using my left hand with my cell phone my editing skills are great <laughs> i don't i don't use gopros or professional cameras never had maybe i will one day but i just use my cell phone i'm working on finding i've tried everything i even bought a harmonica holder and modified it to hold my uh, camera or my cell phone around my neck like robin at oxydry does but 
it broke the first day I tried it. It was a cheap one I got on Amazon. So I do know that they have a mouth holder for the uh, GoPro. And I'm thinking if I can modify that, I wouldn't mind uh, holding my cell phone, you know, just clip it in your mouth with like a mouthpiece and then breathe through your nose. So we'll see what happens. But like I said, I don't do any major editing. I just have fun with it. But so you can see, I have to stop and pull the trigger for the shower feed to keep the pad moist. Just doing this for demonstration purposes so that you could see the swirly in action. And you can clearly see it is scrubbing deep into the fibers of these carpets and lifting out whatever's in there getting it emulsified and suspended so that we'll be able to remove it with a Iron Man 100% cotton pad. Now a true encapsulation could be done with just the moon pad and you just leave it and then vacuum once it's dry because the simple end cap that is a EPA approved plant based encapsulation solution so it has polymers it will encapsulate or adhere to soil and then dry down to a brittle crystal and be vacuumed away. However, we are using the SET principle. That is the acronym S-E-T-T. -T. <clears throat> Excuse me. That means Soil Extraction Transfer Technology. And if you watch OxyDry's uh, YouTube channel, I highly encourage you to. He does a lot of uh, really good informative videos on this shower feeding concept and using a rotary machine. I think he's been using the utilizing this concept for 27 years. So you could get a lot of benefit and knowledge there. And the SET acronym is actually uh, a, a phrase that he coined or an acronym that he put together. And if you watch his videos, you could see the sticker logo that he has. I'm in the process of trying to find somebody who can print that logo for me and I may put it right on the front of my two and a half gallon tank here. Instead of saying VLM, very low moisture, I found that a lot of people would search VLM and they would and what would pop up was a lot of derogatory negative do it yourself at home people using uh, you know the Oric Orbiter which is no problem but then I started getting asked is this what you do? And I thought, oh man, um, I would rather them pull something up and see something like this, like this video, um, or like Robin's video, where it's all professional products, professional equipment, uh, detail oriented. So anyway, enough of that, that's what set is. I was showing you the oxygen tanks. Another good reason to use the plant-based, see there? and all the hoses. I think she's got COPD, so they were concerned with what type of chemicals we're using. So the only thing that I'm using today is the plant-based encapsulant along with a 15% oxygen or hydrogen peroxide booster, which will brighten these things up and brighten them even, continue to brighten them after I leave when I'm done. But you could see looking fantastic there. Still got some solution in the tank. Only took me, the I used probably a gallon on this job. And I'm finding that is another benefit of using my shower feed option on my rotary. Before I would fill up a four gallon jug and pretty much think that I had to pre-spray heavily everywhere and come to find out that just the right amount and the right amount of agitation and pad capping just handles everything. And you, you do have a lot more control of where you apply the solution and how you apply it. It takes a while to get used to when you bump the trigger a couple times, the solution hits the pad and so you don't immediately see the solution hit the carpet. So you, you'll learn as you go you kind of go across bump it once or twice but when i say bump it i mean pull the trigger and then as you fan back over the same area you'll start to see the solution came out and it it can continue 
to keep the pad moist and apply evenly for about two, sometimes three uh, back and forth strokes. And then you just pull the trigger again, bump it a little bit and move forward. Let's have a look at the moon pad. Woo! <laughs> Where does the dirt go? Look at that. It is being absorbed into and agitated throughout this moon pad. Now the backside will be available for the next job. And then I just take these home and hose them off. I probably get, you know, they're very affordable to use. So I probably get three or four jobs out of one pad. And then it just starts looking kind of dingy and gets warped a little bit, which causes the machine to bounce a little bit. So I'll tend to get rid of them after about four jobs. So I'll not use the microfiber pad since I saw heavy, heavy soil extraction transfer technology into the moon pad. And now we will, as they say, pad cap. We'll go ahead and absorb into the cotton pad the additional soil that has been suspended, surrounded by the solution, loosened by the solution, and will be transferred into the pad. We'll take a look at that. I will have to get a rag, which I keep with me, and wipe the beyond the transition there. I could see there was a little dirt that had either moved up during vacuuming onto the linoleum floor, but I'll wipe all that down, leave it looking clean. The other thing with the moon pad, it picked up some more debris. I think she had a dog a couple years ago, and I think we picked up some dog hair that might have been embedded in the surface of the carpet, or who knows, but could have been along the edges. But the good thing with the vac master today, since I decided I would utilize that for my post vacuuming or grooming, it will suck up everything else that gets loosened up onto the carpets and leave it debris free. And then with that shop vac, the vac master with that two stage vacuum, which is what they put in carpet extractors. It's probably getting, oh, I'd say maybe 100 and 102, 100 and maybe 115 CFM, or I'm sorry, not CFM, uh, water lift. But it will pull everything up Look at those swirly, burly, curly, clean. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I just want to leave it like that. <laughs> you know, it just looks so, I mean, you could tell that something's been through there just scrubbing the, scrubbing the fibers. Not power washing them, but scrubbing those bad boys, removing that soil. Oh yeah. I have another job that I got some pictures of that I don't know if I'll have time. Today's Saturday, and like I said, I want to get get these jobs done. I think the UFC fights start around 4 o'clock today, so I got to get, get this done and get home. I don't have any help, but uh, lost my train of thought. Oh, there's the magic bullet. I don't know what this is. It could be a burn or possibly a hole. There's two little spots. We'll soak it down with a magic bullet. We'll see what happens there. Put a little on these transition areas here where the feet kind of turn. You get a little bit of uh, carpet, uh, what do they call it, distortion that'll happen. And you can see somebody used some kind of spotter once upon a time in here in the entry to the bathroom but magic bullet is a all-round all-purpose mystery stain cleaner takes pretty much everything out for me all right when i'm not using magic bullet if you see some blue fluid in the trigger sprayer it's probably windex oh yeah Original Windex, don't get you the cheap, great value, get you the original Windex, no vinegar in it, original Windex. And what that does is it has a wetting agent in there, which the wetting agent 
just goes in and at a micro level starts to separate and disintegrate whatever soil or ink, whatever's on there and allows it to be removed pretty quickly. Oh, I think we do have a hole. Yeah, that would be a hole. Nothing we could do about that. I could go get a tan fabric marker. <laughs> oh yeah. I do uh, keep some fabric markers. You can go to Walmart, pick you up some fabric markers that people use for t-shirts, match your colors up and do some color correction. Wait for it. Boom, now that looks like the set logo. <laughs> Proof in the pudding, baby. Woo, and the fold over signature policy move. <laughs> you can clearly see the contrast there. Where does the dirt go? Oh yeah. So I'm not using any solution. I'm just basically mopping up or absorbing up all of the remaining soil, drying the carpet very well. And we'll see, this has been my second side. So what's the other side look like? Oh yeah, just as dirty, not quite as dirty. Most of the soil was on the first run, but the back one, we picked up even more so get this out of my way. I will leave it fully exposed for the other tenants. I don't know why that Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> it's June. I'll leave it like this and then the tenants in the building will probably inquire and we'll be doing the whole building. I'm sure of it. Once they look in the door and see the work we did, oh yeah, we'll be booked for a month. So I got one cord today, which I've used all week long a couple times. Even I'll use the one cord that's 50 foot, which goes to the swirly. It does have a locking device and a light on the end of it. And what I do is I'll even take the cord off. You see the light? I'll show you how it works here. I'll take the cords off my auric when I'm doing stairs, off of my vacuum, off of my hand tool. And I just use one 50 foot cord and just unplug it and plug it into each unit. There's the VacMaster Professional. They do make these that are wet extractors as well with a, a pump in them. I don't think they're more than about 187, 200 and something dollars maybe. But my old one, just for airflow, you can see I don't have a water line hooked up to it but it does add that additional look to it. People see a shiny carpet cleaning wand and hoses in a machine. And the first thing that comes to mind is steam cleaning. So here it is plugged in. Both sides of this are lit up. It has a yellow push down locking plug. You push that down and it locks into your other side so you don't have to tie it off. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, my truck mount friends. I need a Teflon Glide, baby. That's next on my list. I forgot how difficult these are to move. This was a newer one that I had in storage. I think I never really used it. I should have bought the one with the Teflon Glide, but I'll be buying a Teflon Glide for this one. That's just a piece that fits on the bottom and it makes it just run smoothly over the carpet without any force. But look at those strokes. Oh yeah. Dry time will be 15 minutes. <laughs> Oh man, it's all coming back to me now. I did this for so many years in my career. I do love actually moving that wand. It is uh, kind of uh, relaxing and graceful. You learn how to move it. It can be strenuous if you do it wrong. And the old habit, I'm just pulling the trigger on the back strokes. <laughs> As if I have some solution in the tank. It's, old habits are hard to break. I trained one of my sons 
uh, the first time he used a wand, I left him in a room and he was, I showed him how to use it. I came back and it looked like the ocean. There were waves all over the carpet. He was digging down and pushing so hard. I had to pull the carpet and, sh and re-stretch it the next day. Oh man, I love those memories. You can see this is the final effects. There are some bleach marks, I think, on it, but oh yeah. Nice. Poly C certified. Give me my trophy, baby. Another one in the books. 16 year cleanup. Woohoo! Oh man. Scrub a dub dub. Poly C been in the tub. These carpets got the work over. I think the client will be very happy. And the pure and simple fact that I added the Go Oxy Boost as this dries, it's going to brighten even tenfold what it looks now. It's going to be even more beautiful. There you can see, looking really good. Got the sun coming in the window now. Oh, yeah. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this uh, set method. If you like the acronym, give me a thumbs up. Be sure and check out OxyDry, Robin's channel. He's up in Canada. We are up in the Northwest banging out carpets, utilizing the rotary. He's up ahead of me in Canada and I'm down below on the corner of the United States up in the state of Washington and we getting it done right I did find this cart downstairs was very helpful I didn't bring my buggy with me today didn't know what what I was going to be in for on this and I think I was kind of in a hurry wanting to not in a hurry when it comes to performing the job you can see I always do a thorough job take my time but I definitely want to enjoy my Saturday and I knew this was going to take me probably a good hour, maybe hour and a half. Then I was going to take an early lunch break. I've been up since 4 a.m. Knock this job out. Bang out the next job. Or I'll probably stop and have a little lunch. Upload this video for you folks that I love so much for supporting my channel. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I love to see the comments. You guys and girls keep me rocking and posting these videos. So much love, much appreciation from Washington Pro. Let's go. Look at that. Tools, tools, and more tools. Hit up the link in the description if you want to check out some good products and some good equipment. Shout out to Damon at the end cap store. There's the building, beautiful colors, raining in the middle of June. Come on, we in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> There's my final collage. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that button. I love to see the subscription count go up. And I'll see you all in my next episode.